Okay, you're on. Hi! I'm Lori Zaleski. I am the owner of the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary located in Mays Landing, New Jersey. We are so excited to tell you it is opening, reopening day for the Funny Farm. Okay, I'm not sure you guys can hear me well, so I'm going to just pull my mask down. I won't have it on for the whole video, but when I get my temperature checked, I will be putting it back on. So a few things. When you come to the Funny Farm on opening day today, you have to have your mask. I know we're outside, some people get upset, but it's all to keep you guys safe, the visitors safe, the volunteers, and also our animals. So, we're gonna be doing temperature checks. We have real live medical professionals here taking our temperature and you'll meet them in a second. When you come to park, you can come right in the Funny Farm. We have a big lot in front of our, old, our big old barn in the back. You can park there, or you can park on the street. You can see there's a, one person parked outside. Sometimes they don't appreciate the peacocks jumping on the roof of their car. So just to ensure that their car is safe, they parked it out on the street. Not always, sometimes the, they still will come outside to see your very shiny car. Um, but we do have parking on one side. The other side you'll see has cones, so you cannot park there. So we want to show you what it's going to be like as you're coming to the Funny Farm on the first day since so many of you are from far away. Remember, tell us where you are. Uh, we really appreciate that. We loved hearing where everybody was from. And then some people said, well, where are you? How hot is it there? It's 75 degrees, humid. And again, we're in Southern New Jersey, not Northern New Jersey. We're down by Atlantic City, about a half an hour from Atlantic City inland. Okay, so let me go get my temperature check. So put the mask on. Oh. First and foremost, I forgot the most important thing. You need to have a waiver sign before you get here. We used to do sign-ins when you got here on our iPads, but we are no longer doing that. You have to sign in at your house. If you go to funnyfarmrescue.org, see visit waiver form, and it's kind of a pain in the behind for the first time, but you only do that once. Um, every single person, I don't care if you have a two-year-old, they all have to have it done. The parents have to sign for them. And it's just so, we know that you're safe. It basically says we can chop you up, feed you to the pigs and take pictures while we're doing it and that'll be okay. So um, it is a waiver for everything. You can get hurt, but we make sure that you don't. So our naughty horses are in the back for that reason. Okay, I'm gonna get my temperature check. So on goes the mask. Hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, Ms. Shanda, Hi. you have to keep your bangs. Oh, my mask is falling down. Off, yep. Keep your bangs off. Okay, how are you feeling today? Any cough, fever? <clears throat> I and am feeling fabulous. Okay. So she's going to ask how you're feeling, any no runny nose, watery eyes, just to make sure that nobody's entering. Um, Miss Caitlin is here also to help us. Tree. So our wonderful medical professionals who have been at the hospitals through all this COVID mess, and Miss and Mr. Animal Scott animal. and Vicky. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about our eggs. We're keeping our contactless eggs outside, and you can see the beautiful colors. People don't realize there really is such a green eggs and ham. Well, not ham, but green eggs. <laughs> green egg, the other green egg. We try and put one green egg in every one so you get to see what we have going on. There's another green, greenish blue. So you can do eggs anytime, not just uh, during uh, when we're open. We do have our face mask required, social distancing, maintain your six feet. And the most important thing, wearing your mask effectively. This is our model, Stormy. You can see the proper way to wear it. Not over your head, not hanging down here. That is not a good way, and I do that a lot when I'm not around people, but then you forget. Um, and then not off of your ear. I tend to do that one too. But so Stormy is trying to show you wear it the right way while you're here, okay? Or anywhere you have to go. They're from Idaho. Idaho people. Are, yeah. Okay. We are selling face masks. If you forget, you can see my cute little face mask. Wait, where's my paw on this side? Okay. This side. This side. Yeah. Thank you. So we had the Funny Farm. One of our volunteers made these, and all proceeds will go to the Funny Farm. These are ten dollars, and then our other volunteer made them, and I think hers are five. Yeah. She even has ones for kids all different colors and sizes. So if you forget your mask, have no fear. The face masks are here. We also have 
the N95 or whatever these are called, the medical ones that aren't so cute, but you can get those too. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Vicky. You're welcome. Okay. Farley. All right, Farley, the manager, is making sure everybody's doing their job. He's in charge. <laughs> and then Gunner is in Scott's lap. He too is also oh. making sure. Oh, he's he's mad because the other two are. He wants to go play, Scott. They don't get to see Gunner too much. Okay. Yeah, Gunner's usually the bad one that's in the house. But everybody's out today. Here's Brookie and Tucker fight a little bit too much. Tucker hurt his leg. Because he was playing. Did somebody hurt your leg? Did that Brookie, bad Brookie get you? That's because you were starting with her, the big brother. Actually, she's the big sister. Okay, I'm taking off my mask since we're away from me. I'm away from Matt by six feet because of this handy dandy wire. <laughs> Today, we are leaving T-Bone and Yogi inside for obvious reasons. Since we do have visitors, we are not that busy yet. It's early. There um, are a few cars here. But it's not too bad, but you'll get to see what it's like. So you have to wear your face mask, get your temperature check, come on in. You're already, you already did your waiver. It is free to get in. There is no admission. If you want to leave a donation in the bucket, we so appreciate it, especially since we've been closed for so long. But you can see the sheriff here. He's looking at the dogs and Yogi. Fuck! So there he is. We have a sheriff visiting, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> following the rules thanks for coming guys okay and all the dogs are gonna play hey you guys easy all right now they scared the horses hey they're just the new ones playing so this one's never been here for visiting day before so he's learning from the others hi guys thanks for coming Tucker I mean Farley get over here he wasn't even doing anything all right they're being bad for the visitors hi so we have, usually you'll see all the horses when we have been doing these videos before they were loose. So if you see way back there, I don't know if you can see, they're in the very back. We have a couple of our naughty horses. Some of them are rescued from the racetrack, but they aren't, they weren't the good racers, so they weren't treated very well. And uh, some of them are a little bit bitey at times. And hey, Charles says, where are you located? Charles, we are in... Mays Landing, New Jersey, which is South Jersey. It's about a half an hour from Atlantic City, so we're Southern New Jersey. If you know the tip of, Cape, uh, of New Jersey is Cape May, we're about 50 minutes from there. So we're South Jersey, not North Jersey. And uh, Shelly wants to know why your mask isn't on. You might, you might want to clarify it. I clarified that my mask is right here now. I had it on to start the video, but I'm very muffled and I like to be loud, you know me. But my mask is on. I am six feet away from Matt with our wire and I'm staying away from visitors. It, as soon as we are finished this video, it'll be right back on. So yeah, every, everybody is gonna be wearing a mask. And as I said, if you don't have one, we do, there, see it's right here. <laughs> we will have them at the front gate for you. Um, these are for sale for $10 and then we have others for $5 and they all go to, the proceeds will go to the animals. We also have those medical masks and I think there are only two. Okay, oh, right. somebody's trying to say hello. He's like, I have been out before. How come I'm not out right now? This is Tico, a miniature donkey. And I don't know if anybody realizes how sweet donkeys can be. They are really, really nice animals. Um, we do let them loose and we probably could. I don't know if he'll come out by himself without his friends. Tico, you want to come out? Let's see if he wants to come. Come on, Tico. He He's going to come out all by himself, and he doesn't normally do that. There you go, big boy. Now you can go see the visitors. He, they're so happy because they have not been around people other than our volunteers for the last three months. So um, we're very happy and excited to see him out. And you can see we're going to have one of the... And just keep your hand nice and flat when we're feeding. And you can see how how they take it. So you can get a big interaction with these animals. We always tell the kids when you can buy apples, carrots, and lettuce in our store, hold your hand flat, because if you do this, they think it's a carrot and they'll eat you. <laughs> so you want to keep your hands flat. The donkeys are the safest besides the cows to take them. They take them like, they're very, very sweet. Not like a horse. He wants to know if we need any donations and if we have an Amazon wish list. We do have an Amazon wish list. It, it is on, under Funny Farm yeah, Rescue. Amazon Smile. And we are also on Amazon Smile. 
Uh, so if you're ordering stuff, if you go to the charity section, just order it through Amazon Smile. We do get credits and, and donations every time you guys make a purchase, so that's great. But we do have a wish list as well. Is there any funny farms in the state of California? I don't know. I know there's a couple other, there's another funny farm, and I don't know what state it's in, but it's uh, a horse rescue. So she just means is there... Oh, is there another one yeah. of us? No, we are the, I'm sorry, we are the only funny farm rescue and sanctuary. It is not... In the world. In the world. We are the only one. We're privately owned. I started it about 20 years ago, but not really. It only became a nonprofit in 2011 when I couldn't, you know, afford all the bills. And I thought, well, I'm going to get a tax break on my taxes. And that's why I became a nonprofit. And then people start saying, can I volunteer? Can I visit? And I thought, Who, who's going to want to come help me for free? That's crazy. Spin around behind me. So you can see some of the visitors. Oh, you see she's going to feed and see how nice they feed. If you need to get out, great place to come. It's not very crowded. Um, you have to just keep your distance from people. You can get the interactions with the animals, even the ones that are behind the, the fence here. That's Yogi, the one that's usually out. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Kim. How are you? Good. So she was one of our... You're a movie star. She, she, she's always here when we were open, so she has not been here in three months. It's been really hard for some of these people that this was their weekly activity to do especially and she's an adult by herself so she comes by herself but we have or her friends but she had but we have a lot of people that have children and it's a good place to bring your kids to get acclimated to the animals to see what rescue is all about to pr teach kindness and how these these uh, people if they need a home for their animals where they can go and be cared for and loved and to teach them responsibility it's not all fun and games. There is a lot of work to be done. So we kind of make sure that we teach that to all the kids that come. We do also a critter camp, which we are having this year. Uh, and we, they learn about different animals every day. They do science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So it's the STEAM program. We have a certified teacher that teaches that. We have a few slots open and there's four camps. So if you need that, eggs for sale today. we do have eggs for sale right now. There were four dozen when I walked in. So uh, if you need more, call us because we can pick them all day long. But they're very, very fresh, usually same day. So the pigs are all asleep. This is the pig pen. Again, we're going to walk around. Let's go to the store, though. Yeah. We're going to kind of skip through here right now. Um, but this way they can maybe see the area. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, so we are... We have a steady stream of people, but like I said, not too crowded. We have in the past had a lot of people here, so we have made sure to tell everybody we, we can't allow that many. Oh, there's some baby ducks. And our mom, that's a, <laughs> that's, that, that was Tucker drive-by. That's a Muscovy duck. They make that like <laughs> noise. That's a female there. The boys have the big red heads. Someone wants to know how they sign up for Critter Camp and, and Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Yes, Happy Father's Day. I'm the mother, so I'm not saying Happy Father's Day, but Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. That was, I was remiss on that one. Um, <laughs> to sign up for Critter Camp, you can write to us at Lori at funnyfarmrescue.org, and then we will get you to the proper person. Or you can call me after this, obviously, um, on the phone number on. I think it's on our website. So we're going on the website, right? And we're like, or you can give us a Facebook message, but best thing would be to send an email. Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E at funnyfarmrescue.org, O-R-G. All right, so we're walking over to the store. You have never seen this store, AKA gift shop. You've never seen this before because we have been closed. So we have our plexiglass up. So the people in the store can, the volunteers in the store can stay safe and keep you guys safe. We have, we have hand sanitizers and we have our water stations, which we went right past, but we can show them in a minute if you want. Okay. Water stations afterwards. So we have this. You can still buy shirts. A lot of people are asking us, where can we buy shirts? It's a little harder to see. We're going to probably pull more shirts out later, but we have books, mugs, hats, t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves. Um, the, this type, <laughs> Farley's making sure everything's good. And then here's uh, Stormy again. And this is Canyon. A lot of people mistake him for Stormy. He's our one-eyed horse named Canyon. His eye was poked out by a barbed wire at another farm. 
and he has come here to live and his new girlfriend is Anna, the new racehorse that's over here and she's a sweetheart. Sweetheart racehorse. Oh, she's way over there. She's way over there. I know. They're usually, he knows all about visiting day. You would think he would be telling her like, you can get snacks. <laughs> Okay, and there's little, um, six foot so the six foot things I got sidetracked so if somebody's at the store we have our little six foot sections this says the funny farm loves you my friend at the front gate tree made these and then this is a little footprint so if you're in your next group you stand on this one and of course our be kind so they go all the way around you can see Lorenzo's showing us he's standing on one of them Jethro's <laughs> standing on the or oh, you're close Jethro we're close and you can see he's got the Kardashian butt. <laughs> he's old. He's about he is about 50 years old. And Lorenzo, he loves bananas. Okay. So we were going to show the skunk. Somebody had asked for the skunk. We did show the skunk a couple weeks ago. Normally you could get to hold and pet the skunk today, or because of the germs we're really not we might let you pet them if you clean your hands first but we won't Brooklyn I don't think you need to be all the way up on the table you're gonna scare the skunk get down come on you two get down Brookie down okay so this is stinky he is our skunk and he is descented and he is also fixed so he cannot spray you even if he gets mad at you he might turn around and show his tail like he's going to and you can see, this is the first time these two are meeting. This is Gunner. Gunner's very sweet. And he's like, hey, what is that animal? I never saw that before. He's a little bit yellow, where most skunks are very white. And that's due to his dirt. It's kind of an orangey dirt. So he has a cave down underneath. It's pretty cool. And he goes under, and that's what they like to do. He doesn't dig out because he knows where his bread is buttered. And that's, where, that's why he's a little bit orangey. Okay, I know that's how you show that scare him. That's how you know who he is. I get it, but get out of his spot. Hey, Gunner, don't do that. In the yeah, the no, don't ever do that. <laughs> so that's right. You don't ever, ever touch a wild animal like this. They can uh, carry rabies or other diseases. Ours have been vaccine, vaccinated for that. You have to have a license to have them. Uh, they're not the best pets. I kind of use it as a teaching tool that he used to live in my house. And it was like he was having a party every night while I was trying to sleep. Yeah. Pulling out all my Tupperware, hanging out. So I finally decided I'm going to make him an outside area where he can actually um, have fun. Okay, I guess Matt's done talking about that. No, no. So no sorry, <laughs> he's like, okay, there's Debbie. Bye-bye now. Enough with the skunk. He's, he's bored of that. Okay, bye-bye now. All right. Well, so let's get a, can you hold that's all right. No, we're done. Better. Okay, you want to see the skunk. Yeah. Now you want to see the skunk, yeah, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> he has ADHD. He's like, okay, I'm, you're done with that. <laughs> no. The, the issue with the skunk is his little nails get really long, and he doesn't love that um, to get his nails trimmed. But you have to, you know, again, there's upkeep with everybody. Um, and he is a sweetie. Normally, you hold him like a cat, and he just loves people. Again, we're not letting everybody hold him today, but he does have working hours. He works for an hour and then is, goes back to his, his area for an hour because... He is nocturnal. And kids, you know what that means? He sleeps in the daytime. So it's like me waking you up at 1 o'clock in the morning. You're going to be like, oh, I'm tired. You made you stay up all night and watch cartoons. <laughs> yeah. So he likes to be up at night. So right when I'm done get, doing my chores outside, he's coming out. Wow. Okay. Ready, boy? All right. Come on. And he holds on like, Mommy, don't let me go. Okay, Karen, are you ready? <laughs> Well, we'll talk to you later about that. <laughs> One of our volunteers, some of them have not been here in so long that there's new animals. There's always new animals coming. And puppy. yeah, his name's Gunner, and then we have Puppy. I was never a small dog person, but we have three of them now, including Caesar. I'm not sure where he is. Hi, Mary. This is Jethro, the one I said is 50 years old, and uh, he had his best friend horse. The horse died. He and his horse came here and then the horse passed away and he was out of sorts, completely out of sorts. And we tried putting him with other donkeys. We put him with other horses. We, we tried everything and nothing was working. Next thing you know, Lorenzo came. The llama. Uh, your cam, Susan McNulty. Yes, Susan McNulty, she my said aunt. your cameraman is doing a great job. Oh, please. Oh, gosh. <laughs> After he's done with me, he's like, all right, on. Did you uh, pay her? 
<laughs> so so Lorenzo came and these two bonded like you would not believe. So they're together all the time. Okay, watch. Okay, you watch. So she's not keeping social distancing rules. But go ahead, Nance, show them. Go ahead, Nance, show. Them. Like Just kiss once. Kiss. Go ahead, give him a kiss. Watch, give him a kiss. All right, good. Kissed me like five times. So so yeah, Nancy comes from from Philadelphia. Um, so we have to remind her to not be kissing the animals because she's spreading germs. <laughs> I'm teasing, Nancy. We, we, uh, we made her uh, gargle with sanitizer. <laughs> All right. So some people were asking about the Jello and Hope update. Yes. So who has Jello? Who has Hope? Oh. Uh, all right, Rose, I'm going to wait. I got to find my mask to put this on while I get. We can go over into the tree area. All right, we'll go and then you're going to bring them over. Okay, great. And then, okay, and then our gimpy kids bringing stuff over. Here we go. Our volunteers come even when they're hurt. She's got a, what do you have, a sprained ankle? She's here no matter what. She's like, Mom, I'm going to the farm no matter what. Look at Adele's on the stage. Adele's like, hello. This is not, not, not okay being out here. We did cut the grass in here so she can scratch around a bit. All right, Miss Hope. And Jello. Jello is almost. Oops, what did I do? It's okay. Okay, ready? Look at how big Jello is now. Okay, let's go over here. All right, Jello is going to be mad because we don't have his little pool. Oh, we have some water over there. Okay, and then of course Adele's coming there. Where are you going? You, you're on spoke. Yeah, you're both. And Hope is a little chubbo. <laughs> and if you see, the most exciting news is her eyes are open. I know we showed you a little bit before. All right, you want to run around, dude? Uh, her eyes are open. The, are they open or are they kind of closed? They're open. It's just a little bright out. And she does have vision. We don't know how good it is. They're still doing tests on her, but we will find out soon if she's going to be able to see. Adele? So this, this little duck is getting... Uh, I'm thinking like I'm that. thinking now it's a girl. <laughs> it's looking like a girl to me. Really? But Jello might be a female. Hope, where are you going? Oh look, <laughs> the big brother's making sure. Hope, you have you can't go away. We gotta watch you. And uh -oh. here, <laughs> she hey, psst, psst. <laughs> she's like I'm just looking. I can finally look, see. You can see really well. And she walks right past the chicken, of course, because they all live in the house together. But she doesn't come outside unless I'm with her and Jello. So. You can see she's exploring because that's what kittens do. If you guys get a kitten, they are high energy. They like to run all over, run all over your couch, and then they pass out. They they uh, run around and then they just pass out and fall asleep because they're babies. All right. Do we have any other questions? Because I didn't want to make it too long. We're about 23 minutes in. If anybody has any questions, we didn't want to. Debbie Carr says thank you for the continued tours. It is the next best thing to being there. I uh, still enjoy. Thank you, Debbie. We were wondering. I was like, okay, we're not doing live videos anymore because we get too crazy sometimes. It It is less busy if you come before 10 o'clock. Uh, after 11, 11 to 1 is our busiest time, I think, for everybody. Come here, big boy. What? <laughs> Go ahead and hold them together. All right, I'll hold Jello. Hold that down with that. Let's see if there's any more questions. Yogi Give kisses. Uh, we uh oh I'm on my I'm on my microphone sorry dude um <laughs> all right all right all right shh, shh, shh. He's like, I wanna go play. he says I want to get down Look, Jello's like uh, all right he's on top of me again mom really <laughs> oh my god they really do love each other like I said he's like the annoying brother now though he's a little too big and she's like I'm done with him now <laughs> but they are we are so happy that they're doing well um, and whoever didn't see Yogi, if you watch the video after, you can go see him. He was getting fed by some of the volunteers, so the animals are so very happy. Okay, all right. So Jeannie wants to know if she can swap lives with you. <laughs> In the winter. <laughs> In the winter. I was In the winter. If you take donations like towels and blankets. We That's love nice. towels because we go through so many towels. If and sometimes they get so poopied up that we don't even try and clean them we just throw them out so towels believe it or not washcloths and hand towels because you know animals that are this large even the big towel is a little too big for them sometimes like hope had with her long fur had a little bit of something on her and we just used a little washcloth and was able to get that off along with some puppy wipes um so yeah towels of any size oh sissy from from uh, illinois says hello hey sissy 
Hey! Yeah. Our flying buddy. I know. Too bad there's no Oscar. I know. Uh, let's see. Here's Hope again. Hope's escaping. So okay. Jeannie says she has some extra towels she's going to send. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Um, what else did we... Uh, we always need litter. Uh, yeah, cat we, litter. We put that at the top of our... <laughs> uh, we have very exciting news. Our cat house is officially fin finished. But we want to do that on a day that wasn't an opening day because, again, we don't want people really in the building. So we don't. We have our barn closed today. So where the goats usually hang out, we're trying to get them out of there so everybody can see them. <laughs> Look at Puppy just sticking his head in here like, well, hello. How come I'm not allowed in? Look how happy Hope is. <laughs> Hope, where are you going? And to think that she was Look, she's like, what, gone. mommy? And her eyes are open. I'm so excited. Um, I started saying something. You distracted me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the barn. Oh, the cat house. The cat house is finished. <laughs> um, my friend, one of my friends really helped us uh, finish it up this past week. So we are going to show you, maybe the next Sunday, we'll show you the tour of the cat house with all the furniture and everything in. So this is Chucky's tree. This is Chucky's tree. Um, the dog that passed away from mega esophagus, just like Tucker. Uh, he lived to be five years and a month. We thought he was going to live six months. So I said, well, he's going to have the best six months ever. And he passed away from a heart attack uh, a couple years ago. And we have had this tree donated by our friends Jody and Colleen. And this is why there's a fence around this because yogi and company always eat the tree <laughs> you can see the goats uh cowboy the got bottom. to the lower the lower branches but they said it's still good they're they're okay i think we saved it in time so um betty wants betty jean wants to know if you can purchase your t-shirt online we're working on it, Betty Jean. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Just email for right now. Email for right now. If you send us an email, we will send them to you. Um, we are still sending books. You know, our Farley, Chucky, and Adele, the Diva Chicken books. Uh, so we are sending those out in the mail. So if you're looking for a t-shirt, we have all different colors. But we are really trying to get that website up for, for just the t-shirts, like an online store. Okay. T-shirts, um, mugs, hats, all that stuff will be on. I'm just a little so I'm working full time still, thank goodness. But we're so happy to be open and we can't wait for whoever can visit. But if you're out of town, you can also make us a destination. Believe it or not, we've had people from England that made this part of their trip and then they went on to New York. So they stopped at the Funny Farm and made sure that um, we were here and could be take, accepting visitors. So you thank you. Sure, I'll hold hope as uh, make sure there's no other questions. And with that, yes, we're good. He's way over there. Jello is is running around exploring. He's like, um, what are you doing? <laughs> My little sister. I think it's going to be a girl. You know, you can't really tell boys and girls ducks easily until they're older. And uh, I thought it was a little boy mallard, but can you see the brown? The girls don't have as vibrant of colors, so that looks like a little girl. So Jello is a, a little female, which is good because she has a good name. It could be any sex. Yep, <laughs> that's right. So thank you so much. Happy Father's Day. Again, our first opening day. Be prepared to wear your masks. I'll be putting mine on right after this. And our barns will be closed. You will be getting your temperatures taken. And our store is open and our snack bar. Um, and we're being very safe to keep you safe. Um, have a great day, and I hope to see you soon, and the, the animals cannot wait to see you guys. Yep. Take care.